Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I just want to talk real quick about uh, an update for the Ethereum situation, proof of stake, merge, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the fork actually went really well. Ropston, Ropston, whatever you want to call it. Um, there were some issues with, uh, you know, 14% of participation dropped off the network itself. But uh, all in all, they were able to figure that out, restart, do what they needed to do to get that back up and running. Uh, the all core dev is summarized. Uh, not only is gonna, the stream going to be linked down below, but the overall GitHub agenda, uh, which I challenge you to, you know, check out, read through, uh, listen and look at some of the comments here. Uh, but realistically, what does it mean in focusing on the, the mining aspect? Because, you know, it's very clear that, the, the, you know, miners are not cared about. We already understand that. Uh, we're, I moved past it. I moved past caring. And it's it, the the block times is going to be the biggest concern. Uh, there was a chart that was put out. I don't have that exact chart. This is May 24th. But it was another chart with estimations uh, projecting block times uh, getting up to 18, maybe 18 to 20 seconds in July, which kind of flows with the chart that's already here. Um, so they wanted to delay the bomb, right? They obviously wanted to delay the bomb. And here were their options. Uh, and then we'll just wrap up with what they actually went with. So basically was delay it. Uh, the good about that is gives developers time to finish. The bad is hard to get precise, uh, precisely right. Uh, it also looks bad. And I agree, if you delay the bomb with the uh, momentum behind you, you're, you're already disappointing and kind of putting off venture capitalists uh, and, and much of many sectors inside the Ethereum community is being put off by the constant delays or fail to meet targets and they're not failing to meet targets right the devs can easily do this they just want to make sure they do it and do it right and that's good right we want them to do it and do it right make sure everything's good to go before you go flipping the switch uh the other option was to remove it uh this is bad because it looks bad right um and if they are going to do it they would need to do it now um, and good because it might be interpreted as a sign of confidence. I have confidence in the devs to get this done. And I, honestly, I do have confidence in the devs to get this done. Even as a miner, um, even though they don't care too much for me, I do have confidence in the devs to accomplish this. They just, I just want them to slow their roll and make sure they're dotting their I's and crossing their T's. Also, it could be interpreted um, as giving up a timeline, as in, you know, this is the exact date, exact block, that the fork is going to happen. They did not provide that. The other option is do nothing uh, because the block times will hit 20 to 30 seconds soon, right? So that's going to cause issues, not for miners, but for the overall ecosystem, right? Congestion, issues with transactions. Uh, it could just cause a nightmare on Ethereum and they want to avoid that because the difficulty bomb has been in effect and we can see it slowly but surely rising up over time. Yes, we're around 14 seconds still, uh, but it will have a negative effect as we continue to move forward. Another thing said, uh, sh shows here is community learns how powerful the core devs are. Um, that's good, right? Because they will pay more attention to the community wakes up like, hey, we need to participate, right? We need to put our voice in there. We need to work with the devs and we make sure we're doing everything. Uh, and so that, that can have a positive effect, but that can also be interpreted as a threat, which they highlighted here. Now, as far as what are the options they chose, in short, they chose to delay it instead of remove it um and that's good for miners right but that does not mean the merge is delayed i want to make sure that's crystal clear the merge is not delayed they're still shooting for august um i believe june 29th uh there will be a fork and block times if they delay the bomb which they plan on doing uh that would give us more time keep the block times uh you know low and that would give miners more time to continue to not only secure the network, protect the network, validate transactions, do all that stuff uh, that the community right now relies on. So that way, proof of stake is good to go before you launch it. So in summary, the merge is not delayed. The difficulty bomb is delayed, right? Giving us more time to mine a cryptocurrency. They're still projecting a August timeline. I'm still sitting August, September, but some people are calling for october or end of this year so it's really up in the air but they're going to have uh, another blog post coming up soon i think wednesday of next week 
and then uh, we should have another all core dev meeting in the future. So you got to stay tuned. I'm sure Bisby Trippin or Michael will have a summary of today's meeting in greater detail. But from a miner's perspective, all you need to worry about continue to mine, continue to stack that GUI or SATs, as I usually say, uh, even though they're two different things. Bitcoin SATs, GUI is Ethereum. Uh, continue to uh, maximize the opportunity that you can. Mining Ethereum is very profitable right now uh, until the final switch happens because. Uh, we know that there's a lot of ASICs on the network, and they're going to mine all the way to the last moment, the last block that is mineable on Ethereum proof of work chain. So why not? Why not go ahead and maximize your profits in the process? And then when that door shuts and you no longer can mine Ethereum, you can switch over to whatever algo that you want. I know many of you already switched, but it's up to it's every individual to make their the decision that's best for them, their setup, their budget, whatever it may be. Big farmers, small farmers, at-home farmers, large scale, does not matter. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments of what you think about today's meeting. Um, I will have it linked down in the description for you to listen to. I challenge you to listen it because uh, listen to it because it was a good meeting today. And hopefully uh, you get some more time to relax, take a deep breath, and continue to mine away, hash away, my friends. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So let's check out links in the description to help support me and what I do here. And you have yourself a uh, wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.